Number 9. Army Ant Sutures The next time you have an injury that needs stitches, you could skip the doctor's office and instead allow some creepy crawlies to do the mending. And by creepy crawlies, I mean ants. The army ant has a specialized member in its colony known as majors, defense ants that have a mouth that can spread extremely wide. An entomologist named Justin Schmidt at the University of Arizona was studying the ants and found that when he grasped them just behind their heads, they would open their mandibles wide. Schmidt then placed the ant on a wound and found the insect would close its jaws, clamping down and sealing the wound, acting as a natural stitch. Extremely sharp and able to easily pierce human skin, their bite secures the healing skin, but there's one catch. The ant's head is cut off after it clamps onto the wound, acting as a natural staple to lock the skin in place until the wound is fully healed. Only then are the ant heads removed. One army ant species from Central and South America is often used for this very purpose. They're known as suture ants, and they were used by different cultures in South Africa and India as far back as 12,000 years ago during the Neolithic period. Luckily, for those that get a little squeamish when it comes to insects, decapitated or not, medicine has progressed to the point where a good old-fashioned bandage will still do the trick. But just in case you don't have bandages or stitches, and you happen to have army ants, just know that they can get the job done as well. Might seem like a crazy idea, but it's a crazy idea that has been proven to work. Number 8. Algae Reducing Plastic Balls Let's get serious. Algae can be a problem for coastal areas or places near rivers and streams, but luckily, inventors have created a small ball that when used in large amounts can actually reduce contaminant growth of algae. The shade balls were originally created to prevent chemical treatments in water reservoirs from reacting to the sun and creating a carcinogen. The so-called shade balls were later deployed in California to prevent algae growth. In 2015, the world watched in amazement at the viral video of 96 million shade balls getting poured into the Los Angeles Reservoir. What was the purpose of the balls? To save water and improve water quality. Californians were facing a record-setting drought at the time, and conserving water was on everyone's minds. Mandatory water restrictions led to green grass turning brown and much shorter showers. Depositing enough balls to cover the entire surface of LA's reservoir, the balls block sunlight and prevent the dangerous chemical bromate from forming. Unfortunately, some believe it takes more water to actually produce the balls than what they save, with researchers saying the balls would have to sit in the reservoir for up to two and a half years to offset the loss. In use since 2005, these balls are now starting to save more water than they take to produce, and the LA Department of Water and Power plan to keep the balls in use permanently, replacing them every 10 years. Even though it might seem like there is more risk than reward, any effort to conserve water and reduce harmful chemicals into the air seems like a win-win situation. Number 7. Square Watermelons Square watermelons? That's weird! Why would we need our favorite fruit to be shaped this way? Well, Japanese grocery stores were having an issue. Storage in Japan is much smaller than their US counterparts. Watermelons can be so big and round, and that can waste a lot of space in a refrigerator. So some Japanese farmers had a crazy idea to solve this problem. If the supermarkets want a space-efficient watermelon, they asked themselves, how can we provide one? It wasn't long before they introduced the square watermelon. The solution to the problem of round watermelons turned out to be an easy fix. All the farmers need to do is place the seeds of the watermelon into a square box when they're growing. This forces the watermelon to take on the shape of the box. You can purchase your very own square watermelon topped with a bow for only about $100 to $860. Worth it? We'll let you decide. Number 6. Sky Garden as cities around the world continue to grow, architects and developers need to get a little creative when it comes to building sustainable living for residents. So, when the mayor of Korea decided that his city needed a little more green space, he got creative and hired a group of Dutch architects to create what is now known as Sky Garden, a 24-hour bridge filled with beautiful gardens. Built on a repurposed elevated highway, the Sky Garden boasts thousands of plants and connects places near the main railway station in Seoul that find themselves disconnected by a jumble of railway tracks and haphazard roads. Traditionally, houses were built around courtyards, but as the city grew, skyscrapers soon took over. 
The Sky Garden offers a pedestrian-friendly way to get around, one that is eye-catching with its stairs, escalators, and bridges connecting to the main bridge and its scattered cafes and markets, all set among a nursery of 24,000 indigenous species including pines, jasmine, ginkgo, and roses. The Car Free Zone is a unique project that both highlights innovation, but also allows locals to relax and enjoy a stroll through their city. Would you like to see the Sky Garden? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Number 5. Avocado Ripeness Label If you've never been able to master the freshness test when it comes to picking the best avocado at your local market, look no further than the ingenious RipeSense label that changes color. Starting out red to indicate ripeness in three or more days, it changes to orange, which shows the fruit will be ripe in just two days. The moment the label turns yellow, you have the perfect avocado for your morning toast or for that afternoon batch of guac. Developed over four years in New Zealand, the label was created by scientists to harness the power in natural organic compounds produced by avocados when they ripen. A consistent process, researchers saw a way to track and monitor the ripeness of the fruit in an effort to reduce waste and disappointment for consumers. Although it started out as an indicator for avocados, the ripe sense label can now be found on pears, with sensors for kiwi, melon, mango, and stone fruit in development. Genius! Number 4. Light Up Motorcycle Jacket In this fast-paced world, anything that can protect motorcycle drivers is a good idea. While they might seem like a bunch of daredevils who like to weave in and out of traffic, that doesn't mean riders don't want to be safe. This was the thinking behind the design of a new motorcycle jacket that has built-in lights that can sync to the rider's bike. A French company came up with the design, which boasts embedded LED strips that can be switched on by a backlit, waterproof button. Various modes are included in the design, solid light-up mode, a warning mode that blinks constantly in risky situations, and a brake light that works according to the rider's speed. Made from tough leather, the jacket also protects the rider from the abrasions, shattering, and cutting that can occur in crashes. Elegant and functional, the jacket has six white LEDs on the front and six red LEDs on the back. With a detachable rechargeable battery, waterproof electronics, and at least eight hours of life, this jacket is the future of stylish safety for motorcycle riders everywhere. Number 3. Rotating Bridges Time is money in cities of any size, so a group of designers made a bold move when it came to their idea for a contemporary footbridge in Dublin, Ireland. Keeping the physical link to the surrounding Dockland area, the bridge became a new vantage point for visitors, but it still had a job to do, and that's where the innovation of its designers came into play. Remember in Harry Potter how the staircases at Hogwarts moved? This is quite similar, but more scientific engineering than magic. The pivotal structure is driven by a motor that allows the bridge to move for passing boats and taller ships. Its curved design also has an amphitheater for buskers and events, including film and performances, making it more than just a throughway, but a destination for locals and visitors alike to stop and enjoy. For their hard effort and creativity, the designers won a Director's Choice Award in competition for their contemporary design, one that not only ties to the history of Dublin, but one that shows the city and its people have a bright future ahead of them. It might surprise you to know that the Dublin Bridge isn't the only movable bridge in the world. The Gateshead Millennium Bridge in England offers a quick way to cross the River Tyne for both pedestrians and cyclists. But you won't want to be on this bridge when it starts moving. The curved deck and its support both rotate into the air, becoming one solid structure that allows ships to pass underneath. As the arch lowers, the pathway rises, allowing visitors to access again. The French do things a little differently with their vertical lift bridge over the Garonne in Bordeaux. Inaugurated in 2013, the bridge spans 361 feet long, lifting to around 164 feet 120 times per year to allow large vessels to pass through the port of Bordeaux. Things get a little crazy in Spain, though. Their transporter bridge links two towns in the Biscay province. But it's the mode of transportation that's the eye-opener, with its large platforms that suspend below the bridge on cables and can fit six cars and several passengers in just a minute and a half. You might need nerves of steel to brave the crossing, but it just goes to show how different engineers have worked to solve the transportation problems of their people. Number 2. Vertical Gardens Sometimes when space is an issue, you have to build it, which is exactly what a French architect did when it came to a new tower in Sydney, Australia. Teaming up with a botanist, the pair created a plant-covered tower that reflects light into the lower levels with a huge panel of mirrors. 
named One Central Park, the building complex was part of a plan to revitalize downtown Sydney. With large panels of living plants snaking up the exterior walls, you'd be forgiven if you mistook the building for one overrun by nature. With over 600 apartments and almost 40 with exclusive access to the 330-foot high garden, the building has one of the tallest green walls in the world. Its 21 plant-covered panels with 35 different species span over 3,000 feet. But why all the mirrors? Suspended above the ground, the mirrors track sunlight and direct it down into the center of the building, where there are 320 reflectors that the builders believe improve the quality of high-rise living. At night, LED lights transform it from a simple building into a landmark in Sydney's downtown core. Utilizing hydroponic irrigation to grow soilless vegetation in planters and on walls, the gardens trap carbon dioxide, emit oxygen, and provide energy-saving shade. This innovative building with its unique blend of technologies, high-class amenities like a plunge pool and even an outdoor kitchen, is truly a building of the future. Number 1. Mirrored Valley Living in a quaint village in the Italian countryside might seem like a dream, and it is, but that doesn't mean there aren't challenges to the fairy tale lifestyle. A small village known as Viganella, located at the bottom of a deep valley 80 miles north of Milan, is so deep that the mountains surrounding it cast a long shadow that completely blocks the sun over the entire village for three months. The residents of the village have accepted their fate for centuries, until an innovative villager came up with the idea to use a massive mirror to reflect the sunlight into the valley. After raising the 100,000 euros needed to fund the project, construction began in 2006, with the one-ton mirror installed on the opposite slope of the mountain. But the plan had one flaw. The mirror still wasn't big enough to light up the entire village. Rather than accept defeat, Organizers chose the village square, half a mile away, as the target of the reflected light. Computer operated to follow the sun's path, the mirror lights up a 300 square yard area of Viganella for at least six hours a day. It might not seem like much, but it sure beats a three month long spell of no light. The positive effects of the mirror were felt almost immediately, with the mood of the villagers becoming more positive and locals spending more time in the village square, particularly after Sunday Mass in winter when they would normally head back home as soon as it was finished. Thanks for watching! What do you think of these crazy ideas that actually worked? Do you have any crazy ideas you think would be beneficial for the planet? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to hit that subscribe button for more videos like these. I'll see you next time on the Board Badger.